The Brooklyn Nets coming into the building and looking sharp, and they hope to be sharp on the court, too, as they get ready to go to work on the road. A lot going on here in the Queen City. There's Tryon Street in Uptown Charlotte, home of the Hornets. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. With Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldrich will be reporting from the sidelines. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for him. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. All right, David, thank you. Well, great fans and players alike are excited for tonight. This is just not another game on the schedule. Clash of the Titans in this one. <laughs> this will be a great test for both teams. So the next starting five, we've got Durant, Kyrie Irving is out there with Harden, then there's Griffin, and it's Harris in at the small forward. And for Charlotte, Hayward out there with Bridges, then it's Zeller, and there's Bryant, and it's Ball in at the one. Now, here's Ball. Bryant pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Yeah, and you got to know Bryant looking to shoot as soon as he gets the ball. The D can't give him any daylight. Irving surveying the floor. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by Ball. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Al Harden, he played real well against Atlanta in that last game. Oh, you love seeing Harden take off of the slam. He has just unreal hops. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Charlotte Hornets. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets. That one was played in Brooklyn. Yeah, and last time out, they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the foul trouble. That was what led to them having such an ugly scoreline. Oh, yeah, the guys, they need to lead the way. Or they spend far too much time on the bench. I mean, they'll be more careful tonight. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Let's talk about it. Great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Shot by Zeller, no good. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. And last season, we saw teams double and trap James Harden more than any other player in the league. As soon as he crossed half court, they did not want the ball in his hands. All the officials are all over that one. Brooklyn shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. And you really got to give them a ton of credit for what they've done at the free throw line this season. How about 82% as a unit? I mean, I'm not the first to say it, and I'm sure I won't be the last, but Brooklyn is one of the most physically gifted players that this game has ever seen. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And all the trapping had to frustrate Harden. But whatever may come, he's going to make the right play. Yeah, and, and he can, Jay, because he's not just a good passer. He's a great passer. He averaged over double digits assists the year they played him at point guard. He makes you pay for sending help. Now, here is Irving. A 23-point game for him in the win against the Hawks in Atlanta. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass all around. It just his effort level was off the charts. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Here's Irving. And that one hits back iron. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him trying to push out that lead. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Harden dishes to KD. Back to Harden. Shoots over ball. Harden no good. Hornets leading by seven. Outside, Kobe. From deep. Rebounded by the Nets. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide-open three like that. Boy, he is looking confident 
Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Bridges kicks the ball. And here's Bryant for three. Again, the miss by Bryant. Nets trail by five. To the inside. And Katie throws it down. Um, when Durant dunks the ball, it's such an effortless lift. He just goes up and throws it down like it's nothing. Here's Ball. Pass to Zeller. That shot missing. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Remarkable consistency from deep. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. And they were connecting. And when they're connecting like that, they're hard to beat. Their accuracy from outside, just incredible. Here is Bryant following the basket by Blake Griffin. Zeller passes to Kobe. Elbow shot is on the way. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Bryant's got 12 in the game. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Uh, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. 16 feet away, rebounded by the Nets. A minute 20 left to play here in the first. Harris with it. And Zeller picks him up defensively. They grab their own miss. Outside for Griffin. Zeller grabs the board. The defense there got away with a major collapse. Outside, Kobe. Bridges passes to Bryant. Shot clock at six. Over Irvin. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. I like what he was trying to do. Shaking the D with the fadeaway. Tough look. Attacking in transition. The most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah. You can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. And there's the pass to Irving. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Three-second difference between shot clock and game Here's Kobe, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And Bryant just plays without fear. In fact, he's constantly looking to score through the contact. Washington's checked in for Miles Bridget. Jeff Green is checked in for the Nets. Harden against Ball. Shoots it up. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Harden's got his third basket of the night. Bryant looking over the floor. Connects from three-point range. And you really got to appreciate that swag that Bryant plays with. If you give him room to shoot from deep, he's going to make you pay. We'll return shortly. May not be the in-your-face type of player, Greg, but he gets the message across for sure. He's not going to yell at you. He's going to show you how it's done and expect that you're as committed to winning as he is. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What stands out to you guys from the Hornets in this one? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Oh, yeah, love the ball movement so far. Everything clicking at the offensive end. P.J. Washington is out there with McDaniels. And there's Bryant. And there's Bismack Biambo. And it's Rozier in a shooting guard. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Now here's Bryant. Harden missing his last shot. Bryant. Washington kicks to Bryant. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Here's Biombo, and he can't bank that one in. Harden dishes to Durant. He gets it in there. Durant's got his second basket of the night. Man, he's superb at finding open teammates. Harden, I love how he looks to shed a rock. Biombo trying to break free. Good D by Irving. And the foul called on Bismack Biombo. That's his first foul. 
The Nets have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. And see who uh, really because of that raw athleticism. Rozier was a mid first round pick back in 2015. And you can see though that skill set is evolving. Well that's why Charlotte gave him the three year fifty eight million dollar contract. I mean the feeling is he's still reaching his full potential. And he saw signs of growth last year. For Charlotte, they've gone 0 of 4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. Some solid defense from Harris. You know, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should be easy. Plays it up and banks it in. Harris has got his first two points of the night. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Shot on the way. A rebound by the Nets. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Count that one. Harden's got the lead up to three now for the Nets. Now look, nobody takes more contact than Harden inside. Nobody's better than scoring through. Harden against Bryant. Over Harden. Bryant can't get it to go. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Here's KD. Land soft on the I front of the rim out. and drops. And it's a five-point Nets Harden. lead. Yeah, a big part of this run here has been their ability to score from mid-range. So Charlotte calls time. But with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Aggressiveness is everything. And they certainly played with a ton of it to get that one. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Cody Zeller's checked in for Biombo. Miles Bridges comes in for P.J. Washington. Gordon Hayward's checked in for McDaniels. And Ball's subbed in for Terry Rozier. Hornets trail by five. Outside, Kobe. Teams have dynasties, the 90s, Michael Jordan. We've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though, who do you think is going to lead the pack there? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating Le Le LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucs. For me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with Kristoff, uh, Porzingis, that that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played. But don't sleep on the Celtics with Tatum and Brown and that group that they have with the front office they have. Man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. Bridges passes the ball. Feeds it to Zeller. Eyes again. He takes it up and lays it in. Oh, man, solid on the board. I mean, Zeller using that seven-foot height and uh, getting his clubs some second-chance points. Round against Kobe. The drive by Green. Nice concentration to hit the double-clutch layup. Green's got the lead back up to five now for the Nets. On the wing, Kobe. He's covered by Brown. Bryant's shot is good. Bryant's got four this quarter. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. And here are the Nets. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Here's Harden. That's tipped. Oh, nice defense from Bridges. When he hustles like this, he's capable of swatting shots. And Hayward at the stop. Oh, terrific timing on that play. I mean, Hayward has great chemistry with his teammates. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. It's blocked. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Bryant's running. Wow, he's just incredible at understanding the game. Hayward is so good at making the defense pay for leaving guys open. Here is Harden. Ten points for him. Dishes to KD. And 
finish comes by Katie. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. And there's right. the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Dinwiddie is checked in for James Harden. Now here's Durant. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. There's 10 seconds left to play in the first half. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That is his first foul of the game. Eight seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Green. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Mr. Everything. The rank can score it, pass it, do what you want to do. He can defend at a high level. So fun watching him play. The free throw drops for Jeff Green. And here's Kobe for three. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. It's the Nets. They lead by four. And now let's catch up. I mean, he has been everywhere. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, the defense didn't do a very good job of staying connected to him. We'll see if they make an adjustment. So for Brooklyn now, they've got Harris. Durant is out there with Griffin. Then it's Harden, and it's Irving in at the two-guard position. The shot, no good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. And see, Webb, the strength and conditioning of James Harden, something I'm not certain everybody has an appreciation for. Yeah, and, and to your point, back in high school, despite leading Artesia to back-to-back -back state championships, Harden dealt with asthma and was frankly out of shape. Over the years, dedication to diet and training, that enabled him to reach new heights. Brooklyn leading by four. Irving kicks to Harden. Back to Irving. Goes up at the stripe, and that one drops for him. Irving's got seven points. You gotta know that Irving is an excellent mid-range shooter, but then again, where isn't he a great shooter? Passes to Bridges. Fires from the wing. It's hauled in by Harris. Bridges with the steal. Back to ball. Charlotte moving it around. Kobe draws the double. Durant with the steal. And now the fast break. Durant with the ball. Another one falls for Brooklyn. Nice and steady so far in the second half. They're three for four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Back to Bryant. Kobe draws the double. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Kobe's got three assists tonight. And good for his career. Hayward, a solid three-point shooter. He won't hesitate with those. Nets leading by five. Harden bounce pass. Durant up top. Defended by Bridges. Got a piece of it. Fast break now for Charlotte. Bryant's shot is good. Bryant's got four points in the quarter. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Outside Durant. Harden against Bridges. Harden can't hit. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would. To Kobe with it. He's picked up by Irving for the tie. Rebound, Brooklyn. Griffin's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Harris, and he uses the glass on the layup. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Pass to Bridges. Kobe draws the double. Kicks to Hayward. Fires the three. Cans it from downtown. Hayward's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Hornets. 
Now this is where Hayward just gets better and better, squaring up off the catch. Back to Harden. Shoots over ball. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Harden's got 12 points in the game. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. Kobe against Irving. Puts it up from 17. Here's Bridges. He feeds it to Zeller. Kobe against Irving. Five on the clock. And here's Kobe for three. Goes up again. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Now there's the high basketball IQ of Zeller. He knows he's going to get whacked, but he turns it into an and one. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Washington's checked in for Miles Bridges. McDaniels comes in for Gordon Hayward. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Bryant. The Nets also changing it up. Green, he's checked in for Griffin. And Dinwiddie subbed in for James Harden. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good forge and a good point guard, a good facility. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. Uh, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. it, you know, you, I, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. Dinwiddie with the steal. And here we go. Dinwiddie heading to the hoop. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Oh, exactly right. Momentum shifting plays like that can change the tone of the game. Oh, that's blocked. Here's KD. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And now a five-point Nets lead. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. And they've been enjoying this long homestand. That will be game four of five in a row at home. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. For Charlotte, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. That's good from Ball. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And the Hornets making a change here. Nets leading by three. Now, here is Irving. He's got seven. Pass to KD. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Here's Green. Can't connect from 14 feet out. One on one here. Here's Rozier. And he converts the layup. Rozier's got his first bucket in this one. Uh, getting out on the break. Terry's got a good nose for the basket. High IQ score. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. Nets lead by one. And we're just moments away from this. Big man. You can see the whole thing. I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Hornets. All out there with Terry Rozier. Then there's McDaniels. Then there's P.J. Washington. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. Are you kidding me with that pass? Okay, Kyrie, that one made my day. Ball feeling it out a bit. Now the pass to McDaniels. Ball with it from the arc. Kept alive. Misses in close. 
the D hanging tough and stopping what would normally have been an easy lay. KD's shot is off. Charlotte trailing. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Ball dishes to McDaniels. Back to Ball. Over Durant. Ball no good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him, and he knows it. The best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. And here is Rozier. Here's McDaniels, and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And the Hornets lead by one. Guys, what a game. Eight lead changes here. And don't be surprised if it comes timeout, down timeout. to the last possession. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what the Nets head coach was going over with his team. Not happy with the way this game is going. He said you're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, we're doing some good things, but outside, you're a disaster. Tighten it up. Kevin will see if they can close out on those shooters a little more effectively. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. There's the feed to Griffin. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Basket, good. A, a big problem for the defense inside. I mean, once Griffin gets established, he's comfortable shooting the ball. Outside, Kobe. Bryant is doubled. Here's Ball. No good on the free throw. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. Brooklyn's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Bryant, and he banks in the layup. Bryant's got 32 points. They are just killing him on the interior. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Irving. It's the target from 18 feet. Well, you know they're going to go to Irving in these spots. He's tremendous at scoring when his team needs a bucket. Passes it to Bridges. Outside Bryant. Come on, come on, come on. Out to Hayward. Pass the ball. Charlotte moving it around. Bridges dishes to Kobe. Here's the lob to the hoop. It's stolen by Harris. In transition, here come the Nets. Irving leading the charge. And now the fast break. Bridges with the ball. Griffin with the steal. In transition, here come the Nets. Irving for three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Irving's got five points now this quarter. Such a smooth operator. I mean, Irving knows he has the green light to let it fly from deep. Griffin with the steal. Ball against Irving. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Kobe against Irving. Outside, Kobe. They need this. And it's off the back rim. No good. Brooklyn leading by four. Here's Irving. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. LaMelo Ball picks one up. We see how elusive Irving is, and he uses this skill to draw contact on the way up. Durant's checked in for Green. Those free throws helping them to make the lead even safer. And the Hornets call time here. They're and the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And I don't care what his size is, you cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball, and he is fearless in attacking the glass. 
minutes, trail by four. Here's Bryant and the dunk by Kobe. And Kobe lives for these situations. You know how much he likes the spotlight, and boy, does he deliver time and time again. And Brooklyn has possession. Harden outside. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Hornets have gone 6 to 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Zeller finds Bridget. Irving against Bryant. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to one. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And so Griffin will bring it up for Brooklyn. They get the rebound. Kicks it out to Harden. Outside, KD. Just five on the clock. A second chance effort. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes. They trail by three. 19 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Yeah, they have a little time to work with. The most important thing is to make whatever you take. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Oh, and it's a wrap. <laughs> Any chance they may have had for a comeback just went out the window with those free throws. And so they foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Well, Irvin came into this league as a terrific three-point shooter, and I think he's only getting better with age if he can. For three, Kobe buries it from outside. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy. This crowd was direct. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.